Good morning everybody, this is Stephen Rowlands with the hopefully weekly week, weekly chat and Q&A. Alright, I'm just scrolling down to the comments. Okie dokie. Um, here we are, it's been a good week, I've changed my job, I've not got any stress or anything or anxiety like I did have with the last job. Um, and I've been working spiritually this week as well, so that's all good. I did a, um, my first workshop online yesterday via Zoom to two lovely ladies, and, um, it was my understanding mediumship workshop, and to be honest, I think it went really, really well, um, and the two ladies seemed to enjoy it. I did a lot of teaching. Hello, Shelley. How are you, young lady? Hope all's good in um, Merthyr, where you're from, Merthyr Tidfield. As I was saying, done a under my first ever workshop on Zoom yesterday. Uh, my understanding mediumship workshop. It it went well. A lot of teaching was done. It's funny because a lot of people ask me if I do teaching and when I do teaching I only get two people. Um, but yesterday with just me and the two girls there it went well because it, it gave me a lot more chance to explain stuff in depth rather than you know trying to explain the same thing to a lot of people and you know and it, I could explain it individually to the two girls with um, what fits in with their level of spiritual development as it stands now. So with this in mind I'm going to be doing more workshops, understanding mediumship workshops and um, if anybody would like me to teach on any subject uh, let me know and if I can talk about it, teach about it, I will. Um, but I will be doing the workshops in small groups because I think small groups works very well. I charge a fee of £20 per person for my workshops and the two ladies thought it was good value good value for money. So yeah, there you go. Alright, so if you would like some to understand mediumship a bit more, it's basically aimed at beginners and um, You know, so to give them a start, you know, if they can understand um, mediumship a bit more before they join Circle or are already in Circle, just to understand their link with Spirit a little bit more. That would be great. If you have any questions, please say hi because I feel like I'm talking to myself. Um, you know, and it's just a good start. All I'm doing is teaching what I, the way I was taught. I've sat in three development circles and um, what I'm teaching is what, what I taught in the last development circle. Hello Lorraine, lovely to see you this morning. Okay. What I'm really looking forward to is the week after next, myself and my lovely wife are going to York for a holiday so we're going to be um, having a break. But... Um, Myself and my spirit team have been invited to demonstrate healing at Har Harrogate Spiritual Healing Church. And I really can't wait for that. I want to see what spirit are going to channel through me for that. Um, it will be trance healing. They've got their own cabinet up there. And, um, you know, so we're going to sit in the cabinet and my guides are going to control me and we're going to channel some healing to people okay I think we're talking about making it a zoom or a live or something like that I may be wrong but um, I may ask my wife who is my um, glamorous assistant to um, hold, hold my phone and do it as a live you know what I mean 
with the permission of people there because obviously we've got to think of um, data protection and stuff like that okay all right okay yeah sounds good doesn't it Lorraine all right I'm really looking forward to it also it gets me it gives me a chance to sort of like meet other spiritualists yeah and be with other like-minded people I find that very very refreshing visiting a new church is always good you know, I love it when I go to a new church. I always love and also serving the churches I already serve. But um, it's lovely to, you know, connect with spirit in a new place for new people. You know, so um, that's all ongoing. Okay. If anybody has any questions about spirit, about, you know, how it all works or any questions about me hello the lovely claire's with me oh lovely claire's here i will see you wednesday i've got news for the group um wednesday because i've decided from the workshop i did i would like to t to do um an online circle instead of a meditation group um as much as i've said i don't like online teaching um, I think it's time for me to progress to a circle, you know, and teach, uh, me and the two ladies yesterday, we, we had a good con connection with the exercises that I gave them and it all worked very well. So I will be sort of like seeking out three, three or four more sitters that spirit tell me to invite to it. Okay. I'm even make a small charge for it. I don't know. See what my guides say, but um, because I do pay for the Zoom, you know, it costs me fourteen forty nine a month. So it would be nice to get some of that money back. Um, yeah, but I think it's time now for me to progress to doing an online circle. But I do, and as I've said before many times, that there are limitations with running an online circle. There's only so far you can teach. Okay, hi Rosemary, I'm well. Um, but I, I will sort of like, with the guidance of spirit, teach as far as I can. Good morning, Karen. How are you this fine? Hope it's sunny like it is down here, up where you are. And um, what I'm going to do, Claire, is I'm going to disband the meditation group and I'm going to invite people into a full-on development circle. All right. I don't know how it's going to work because, as I've said many times, there's only so far you can do with online teaching. But um, me and the ladies yesterday, we, we had a good connection for the workshop. Yesterday's workshop would have been good for you to go on, Claire, actually. Because I was doing a lot of teaching that I don't teach in the meditation group, if you understand what I mean. You know, and it was, and it was, you know, because it was sort of like just the three of us, I could sort of like talk to the ladies in depth at their level of understanding because the two ladies were on different levels of understanding so um i could really tail it ta tailor it to their level of understanding I, I will talk to you girls you dinkies about it wednesday night okay claire you're one of my hardly perennials aren't you so um i think i'm going to be inviting you to it okay but um, I'll see how the other ladies feel. All right. But with a circle, you know, there will be the connection with spirit. There will be the giving off of what you get from spirit and something like that. You know, um, with circle, it it will be aimed at. Um, Whoever's sitting in that circle progressing to spiritual service. 
in whichever way um, spirit feel that they want to um, guide you down that path. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how you feel about that, Claire. Let me know. Or message me. It's up to you, Claire. Um, but it will be a once a week thingy. And it will be online. And um, apart from sickness or going on holiday, I will expect the sitters to be there. Because I'm giving up my time to teach. So... You know, and as I, as we were discussing yesterday in yesterday's workshop, um, serving spirit is about dedi discipline, dedication and commitment. You can do it, all right, Claire. You you can be a cheeky little madam at times, can't you? <laughs> all right, but yeah, I, no, I think if you just step out of your comfort zone, I think you will be fine. All right. You know what I mean? You, it's like the advert for the lottery, in it. You've got to be in it to win it. You know, if if you're not giving it a go, you're not going to get nowhere, are you? If you're if you're hiding, yeah, I know that, Claire. But you know, um, heart, brain, and mouth have got to synchronise. You know, and you've got to be. What have you been trying since last week, Claire? Pray tell me. But one of the things you do learn in spiritual teaching, spiritual development, is, is self-confidence. Alright? We discussed it yesterday. What One of the ladies felt that she wanted to get everything right and didn't want to let me down and all the rest of it. And I was trying to explain to her that, you know, there's no right or wrong. As long as, long as you're sort of like doing your best and that you're selfless whilst you're connecting um, it doesn't matter how stupid it seems or whatever you know that's your level of development and um, it then me as a teacher it can help bring you on I can point you in the right direction you know what I mean Claire okay and I've usually found with spirit it's usually you know working on the platform it's usually the most stupid things that mean the most all right and one of the ladies saying well I didn't know if I should say this I didn't know if I should say that but you know if you're out on the platform you've got to say everything because you know you've got to give yeah well I will be taking you out of your comfort zone Miss McClure McCubri. So, um, if you're prepared for me to take you out of your comfort zone, then I'll be happy for you to join that circle. All right. But if you're going to be a, a wilting violet, you know, and a Thelma Barlow, I don't rightly know. You know, you know, then stay on your set, watching EastEnders. You know what I mean? But um, yeah. I keep saying I'm a lot, don't I? I've got to... I've got to stop saying I'm, um, right. Um, but this circle will be formulated over the next, I don't know, week or month. Alright, because as, as a lot of people understand that I am doing platform services, I'm now, I'm now doing private sittings as well. Okay. But as you'll understand, we're working with me, Claire, that, you know, um, you know, you have to give it 100%. Oh, that's good then. So you won't mind being out of your comfort zone then, Claire, will you? All right. So if I say give everybody a 10-minute reading when you're ready, no, you'll just jump straight into it and you'll do that. Or, or I'll say give a 15 minute address on this subject. You know, linking in with you guys. You will be able to do it, won't you? The lovely Laura McKnight with us. Hi, Laura. Um, one of the ladies de dedicate, um, not dedicated, donated to the MS Society yesterday um, from the workshop I did. The lovely Victoria Lee is with us. That's great. 
Um, if an, anybody has any questions or anything like that, please ask because it sounds like I'm just talking to myself at the moment. All right. But carrying on from where I left off, um, from yesterday's workshop, I'm thinking of... Um, Yeah, give it a try, Claire. All right, because my teacher, you know, Berenice, she was also always sort of like throwing different things at me. And I'll give it a go. But what she said to me and what I try to say to you, Dinkies, is, you know, work to 100% of your ability or 150 to 200% of your ability. You know... It's all about opening and strengthening your connection with spirit. If you're not trying, you're not, you know, how can you expect to get a stronger connection with spirit? You know what I mean? Laura, I would like to invite you into this online circle whenever I'm going to manifest it. Okay, it will be a once a week jobby. All right. Does anybody have any questions? Because I think I've I've sort of like said basically what I was going to say this week. Okay, let's have a look in, in my diary. Just looking in my diary, folks. Doing a sitting next week. Um, doing some healing next week, which will be do good. Also doing a talk for signs of the afterlife next week as well. Um, that, that's it Laura F thank you I will, I will um, set up a little chat group for whoever I invite that's four I've got now maybe I'll extend it to six I don't know but you know I think you know, what I learned from yesterday was um I'll answer that in a minute, um, Laura. Are you enjoying my book of poems? That's the main thing. All right. I, are some of them poems teaching you, Laura? There, I've answered a question with a question. That was clever, wasn't it? Um, but, yeah, I'm doing a talk for Signs of the Afterlife next week. And um, it's going to be about, you know, you're living your eternal life now. And a lovely Stacey Spark is going to be helping me with that. And she's going to be asking any questions that people want to ask. Because that's next week on Facebook Live. And on the 4th, um, I will be doing the Divine Service at Hinton Road um, Spiritual Church. A church that I've been serving since 1984, folks. So I um, always love going back there because it's a really spiritual ch church. Okay, my poems, they, they come to me like thoughts come into my head and um, I'll see something or I'll feel something for it and I Yeah, you know, it can be sort of like generally everyday stuff. It can be things that happen to me that I write a, a poem about stuff like that or spirit can put a thought into my head and then, then i'll write a poem about it you know what i mean that's how more poems come to me um then poems there's about 100 poems in them that book couldn't there it's, it's taken me 30 years to write them poems i've been writing more re recently because i just enjoy writing poems you know also enjoy writing blogs my poetry and my blogs are on WordPress. But if anybody would like to buy my book of poems, it's available on um, Amazon UK. And it's... Um, I've forgotten what I was going to say. Yeah, it's available on Amazon UK and its title is Reflections. So if you want to look up Reflections by Stephen Rowland, that'd be great. It's, it's available in ebook. Um, Kindle form, 
it's in paperback or it's in, in a hardcover copy. But yeah, I've also written another book called, um, called um, Messenger. It's about my early days in spiritual development, my experiences about my first sort of like days about stepping onto the platforms and some of my ups and downs in life with, with some of my poetry. Oh, the lovely Bianca Sabina is with us. Hello, Bianca. I hope your new beginnings are going well, young lady. All right. Um, yeah, so it's all rock and roll at the question. It will be a working circle. Yeah, you will work in it, trust me. There's an old saying, Laura, you know, um, some people, I, I, I run a circle quite a few years ago and they just sat there waiting for me to give them messages. I said, it's not like that. You know, you're going to work and you're going to learn how to connect with spirit. Um, you know, um, there's the old saying, isn't it? You don't have the dogs and do the barking yourself. Glad to hear that, Bianca. Is it by anchor or be anchor? I don't know. But anyway, lovely to see you here. And, um, yeah, th th this little live that I do, usually on a Saturday or a Sunday, is for chat and Q&A. So if anybody's got any chat or Q&A, all right. Yeah, yeah, you'll have to, yeah, I love getting a reading. I'll dish out loads of readings, but I very rarely get one myself, okay? All right. <coughs> But I will be starting the circle as from the basics. Um, for anybody that joins that circle, I don't, I'm not really bothered about um, how evolved you may think you are. And, um, but we will start from basics and we'll evolve it up from there. Okay. Because we will be developing with spirit. Okay, spirit no, spirit no more what you need to be taught more than I do. Okay, all right, and um, it will be that circle will be very much under the guidance of of spirit and what what they wish to teach you. Okay, looking forward to going up to Harrogate next week. And demonstrating healing there. Also having some quality time with my wife. Okay, Bianca, yeah. I think you would be interesting. I like your energy, actually, Bianca, Bianca. Um, yeah, stay tuned. Um, you may well get an invite. You're on my friends list, aren't you, Bianca, Bianca? All right. Um, I'm going to call you Bianca because it's easier. Sorry. Um, but we'll start from basics and we'll work up from there. I know you're already on a mediumistic level, but, um, please don't be offended if I start you from basics. All right. It's just the way I like to start. So I can see where everyone is and what, what they're at and, you know, and what, what teaching they need going forward. Okay, but it will be a once a week thing. I will probably charge three pounds per circle because I pay for the Zoom, you know, and it's just simply oh, brilliant, Bianca. I know we, we, we met up on um, Signals from Heaven, didn't we? I think that's where we met up. Yeah, please send me, send me a friend request, and uh, that means I can get in touch with you, whoever. Spirit tells me he's going to be in the circle. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm very open to learning. Uh, I think I learned something yesterday from teaching the two ladies, actually. You know, I, I, I think I learned quite a bit of how to, what to teach and how to teach it yesterday. Because there is one, one important point. The teacher must become the pupil. All right. So whilst I'm teaching in the circle, I will also be learning as well. Okay. 
Is there anybody on here? All seven people interested in spiritual development. All right. What what is what what do everybody think about three pound charge? Do you think I'm being greedy, or do you think it's sensible as I pay for the Zoom? You know, just let me know. I mean, I'll do these lives as well, just so that I can touch base with people and just talk spiritual stuff and stuff like that. You know, um, I will be doing more mediumship lives with this group. I'll also be doing trances with this group. Um, you know, uh, so all that will be going on. But I don't think as a medium we should just be dishing out messages all over the place. Okay, I think there is a there's plenty of room for spiritual teaching and philosophy and for spirit to come along and give teaching and do Q&A because years ago when I was sitting in circle because the medium was a trance medium we also developed trance and um, you know the, the medium Berenice her husband used to bring a guy forward called Lee I don't believe you should teach trance online Trance should be taught in a proper physical circle, a home circle. Alright? Because you don't really get a, a feel for the energies or who's coming through. I mean, or if you got into difficulty with a spirit communicator, you're about 300, 200, 300 miles from me. How can I sort it out? I've got to try and sort it out online and channel energy, everything like that. So... You know, um, if you're ever down my way, you, you, you'd be more than welcome to come and sit sit, sit here. And I can, I can take you through um, the blending side of things and all that. Okay? But I'll never ever teach trance online. Or do a trance workshop. Alright? Just for safety reasons, more than anything else. Alright, I know people do do it, but I disagree with them doing it, but it's a free country and it's their journey, so I don't interfere. I just just voice my opinion about it, which is my journey and my level of understanding. Okay. Actually, I was teaching the girls yesterday out of channel energy, um, which is sort of like a precursor to developing trance. It's one of the exercises you do to to come into trance. Okay. You have to be honest, you know, um, with spiritual development or anything, you have to be honest with others, but you, you mainly have to be honest with yourself. And if you're honest with yourself, then you will be honest with others. You know, Integrity in mediumship, in whichever way you channel spirit, um, healing, mediumship, or whatever, integrity is utmost. Okay? You have to be totally honest. And, and the starting point is being honest with yourself. Yeah, and if you can be truly honest with yourself, then you can be truly honest with um, everybody else. And it makes you a clear vessel for spirit, and you can have a far greater connection with spirit as I was discussing with the two ladies yesterday you know um, the picking up and giving off of spirit is about that much um, the self discovery and the self development is sort of like 98% of spiritual development so within the circle you will be discovering yourselves you will be raising your energy and your vibration to connect to higher levels of spirit does that sound good Hopefully it does, because that's what I teach, all right? It will be a private circle. All right, okay. I just feel basically that I should be doing more teaching. I feel spirit are inspiring me to do more teaching. But there again, you know, lots of people ask me if I do teaching, and when I say, all right, I'll do a workshop, just on the basics, I'll get two ladies. <laughs> you know what I mean? But but it worked well because it 
it led to, to go more in depth with the two ladies and I could teach them at their individual <laughs> levels of understanding. Yeah. Oh, great, Bianca. I'm glad you agree. All right. Okay. All right. Anybody got any questions? I do realise that there's a 40 second delay on this, so, um, you know. But first things, first thing I ask anybody that wants to sit in my circle, why do you want to develop the spirit? Thank you, Rosemary. So let me ask Bianca and Laura, and, well, I think Claire, Mc Claire McCoubrey's gone to watch her air or something, but, um, why do you want to develop your spiritual awareness? To what purpose do you want to develop? That's why I ask anybody who wants to, um, comes to me for teaching, that's what I ask them, what, what's the reason why? Okay. I'm not here to give psychic messages, Rosemary, I'm just here to do chat and Q&A. Only you can know that. It's like when I first moved in with my Veronica, it was a big leap. I moved the area, I didn't have a job or nothing, and I just moved my stuff down. Keep me in touch, Nina, because I'm just working out how, how I'm going to do it. I want it to be right, Nina. All right, but when I'm at Rosemary, when I moved down with Veronica, okay, um, because we missed each other, basically, and, you know, the time apart was killing us, so it just made sense to move in together. But it was a big leap of faith from my part. And, um, you know, it's all worked out well for me, what can I say? But, you know, and I moved in down here with Veronica in 2018, and in 2019, we got married, and... Um, we're now due to celebrate our third wedding anniversary, so everything went fine. Um, basically, you just got to learn to live together and accept each other's, you know, little failings. She accepts mine, or she might have a moment at some some points, but I accept hers as well. Oh. Yeah, I agree with that. Well, my wife's just gone, oh. <laughs> but. Um, So I feel with your energy, Nina, you may be going into a slightly different direction to what I teach, but yeah, um, we'll see. If, if my guides say, because my guides who choose who's in it, um, um, my guides choose who, who will be in the circle, so if they say get Nita, I will drop you a line. Okay, Nina, is that okay? But yeah, yeah, you're dead right, Nina. It is a forever learning and growing process. Okay. And people, please realise, not always when I come on, not I'm coming giving messages. All right. And especially not giving psychic messages. Okay. All right. But, um, you know, I am here to spread the word and the love and the teaching of spirit. That's why I do this one once a week. And um, that's why I do the trances, so people can do Q&A with my spirit guides, so that they can evolve and they can learn more. Okay. Yes, I will also be doing messages and stuff like that, which is great. I love connecting people with their loved ones. Um, you know, it's just something really lovely to do. You know. Yeah, I've done the same as you, and it's worked out all right. Me and Veronica are about to um, celebrate our third wedding anniversary, and we're both incredibly happy with each other. <coughs> that sounds great, Bianca, because... Um, Right, let, Nina, I'll, ju I'll just talk to Bianca for a second, all right? Yeah, 
Yeah, our guide, Bianca, our guides will always help us to expand on a spiritual level because they want us to learn more and grow more vibrationally. And, the, and I'll underline that word, vibrationally. They need us to raise our vibration so that we can connect to higher levels of spirit and also enhancing our awareness so that we can do more, we can channel more. So yeah, you know, you'll be more than welcome, Bianca. Right, what 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 is um young Nina got to say? Nina, I feel you know, I I do teach universally. Um You know, um, my last circle, Berenice circle, was sort of like high universal teaching, which I think will be good for you. Um, but I feel that you may be more going in, in the pagan way. Um, but I think it will be interesting to teach you anyway, you know, to s see where you're going from. If you disagree with me, Nina, please say, all right. Right, Ruth Bet Bet Betzner's just asked a, a, a very big question, so I'm going to try and answer that. You do whatever you feel guided to do, um, Rosemary. Okay, no, he was in Nina's group we met, and I forgot what Nina's group's called now. All right, it's not signals, it's the other one. Divine gifts. Yeah, that's it. I think I'm doing a demonstration for them soon anyway. All right. All right, let's get back to Ruth Betson's question. Ruth, have you got somebody who can teach? Have you got a medium that can teach you in that circle? But what I would suggest is you four ladies get together and first off you do a prayer of protection and set your intentions about what you want to learn remember that you have to within a circle you have to have um humility you have to have unity and you have to have connection yeah all right you have to be learning and evolving together in one unit okay you also have to have some somebody who is aware enough to bring that teaching of spirit forward to or, or explain things that that are happening. So you need somebody who's who's of a high enough level to explain what's going on and to teach you at your individual le levels. All right. But a cir circle is a working part of the universe. A circle's primary role is to create more light and more understanding. Right, let's go down. Um, le let me know what you think, Ruth. Yeah, what I'll say about doing private readings, Rosemary, is is you're not paying for the level of awareness that I've reached, you know, or what, what comes through. You're just simply paying for my time. That's all, because if I go to work, they pay me for my time. And it's the only thing I really charge for. I don't charge for healing. You know, I, I charge for workshops and teachings now. But um, it's just paying for my time. The circle, it, you know, the payment will be just for the Zoom. You know, so, you know, as anybody who's got a Zoom account knows, it costs fourteen forty nine a month. Okay. I'll just see if Ruth wants to say anything. All right. Does anybody else want to sort of like share some thoughts? What What do you think about what I've been saying about circles and stuff like that? Nina, what do you think about what I said? This this pesky. I tell you, what, I think I'm going to do these on Zoom in future because you know. I ask a question and people can answer straight back. 
I think I'm going to get me and another medium to do a copy time, you know, chat and messages. That'll be good, because I've enjoyed doing them. Okay. Alright. Well, we've got 11 viewers and I'm the only one talking. <laughs> yeah, okay. Alright. Right. right. Let's see what Nina says. That's brilliant. That's brilliant, Nina. I like what you've just written there, very much so. Yeah, well, I'll see if I can invite another medium and we'll just do chat and messages. It will be on Zoom, Natalie. All right, but you know, me mediums are universal communicators. All right, um, we don't just communicate messages from loved ones. We we communicate the teachings of spirit as well. Okay. Yes, Nina. I think it would be nice if you joined the circle. Okay, I better start writing some names down, and I. Where's my pen? all sound quite advanced to me Ruth um, I'm just going to read what you've written Ruth and then I'll, I'll sort of like think of an answer for you tell me Ruth why did you become disillusioned with the teacher perhaps it was just that you ladies had gone as far as he could teach you you know I mean that happens you know um but know that you will be guided, you know, to the right teacher. I might even suggest that we meet on Zoom sometime and I, I will um, deliver some teaching to you just to see where you're all at, if you would like that. Okay. What form of healing have you been trained in, Ruth? Yeah, as channels for spirit, I don't want to keep saying mediumship or healing, but essentially we're, we're channeling whatever spirit want to put through us. So, um, you know, um, what was I going to say? Sorry, it's a 60 something thing. Um, it's all about healing in whichever way we um, channel whether it be messages or healing or we do tarot or whatever, we do sand, water, ribbons, whatever, okay? Um, it's all about creating healing. It's all of... Oh, that's brilliant. It's, it's what we call here spiritual healing. We used to call it laying on of hands, but yeah, spiritual healing. That, that is brilliant, Ruth. Okay, sounds like, sounds very powerful. I like that. Okay, because, you know, the greater the connection with spirit as a circle, the more powerful it becomes and the more teaching that comes forward, if that makes sense. Okay, but tell me why you were disillusioned with your teacher, uh, because I just feel you, you just may have gone on further than what he can teach you. You know, he, he, his level of knowledge had sort of like run out. No disrespect to him or her, because um, that does happen. As you've heard me just say to Nina, you know, I may not be able to teach you, but, um...
there's no time in spirit, Lisa. All right, I'll be told some fantastic things as well that have never, never, ever happened. All right, but we all have free will. I mean, with, with giving future messages, we have the free will to change the future, don't we, by our choices. And I think that's one thing why these things never happen. That's one reason. Um, just purely for our own free will. Um, yeah, on a psychic level, can be um, picking up on your wishes. Um, yeah, Dinky, me and Dinky Wiper as well. But um, my guides like to sort of like say, well, this is how it's going wrong. You've got to change this and change that. If you want a better outcome. You know what I mean? You see. Spirit will. will t Hello Derek. Spirit will tell people. Not necessarily what they want to hear. It's, they will tell people what they need to do. And sometimes. That is stuff that the person does not want to do. But as I said before. It's all about creating upliftment. And sometimes. People have to hear some hard facts from spirit so that they can change their lives if they wish to, because everybody's got a everybody's got free will. I hope that answers your question. I hope the reading I gave you. I hope you don't feel that I was cold reading you because that that's never in it. All right. Okay. Right, okay, I'm just waiting, all right, okay. <coughs> oh, good, I'm glad Bianca agrees with me. Yeah, that's right. I mean, I could say, I could say to you, Lisa, in 10 years' time, you know, or five years' time, remember there's no time in spirit. So, spirit give me the impression of time, and I guesstimate when it is through, from the vibration of it, Okay. But they can say to you in five years time you'll be happily married and you'll be living in a cottage with roses around the door and um you know but you know you make choices about what you're doing who you're going to be with and all that and you could just go in a different direction than that Well, what I've learned as a teacher, Ruth, is that you have to listen to whom you're teaching and sort of like tailor the teaching to what they're saying because they're speaking from their own level of understanding. So if you're taking a student down a path which they don't understand, then you're not teaching. Okay? So you have to communicate to that level of understanding. One thing that I was teaching yesterday, funnily enough, um, in the workshop, is being able to communicate to all levels of understanding. Because when you're out, say, say you've got 30 people and you're demonstrating mediumship, not everybody's going to understand what you're saying, are they? You know, but... Um, You've got to give it in a way that everybody can understand. And the best way of that is do it as simple, just speak as simply as possible. But yes, I think it's very important to listen to your students. I mean, I love students to argue with me. I love students to disagree with me. And I agree with that 100%, Derek. Because people just seem to want to be told a lot of the time what they want to hear you know your boyfriend will stay with you you will live happily ever after or whatever okay but we're not fortune tellers are we Derek you know I always say if something for future comes up up somebody you know I always say you've got the free will to change that it sounds lovely but through your choices that can change or, a lot, or, or what happens sometimes is, I'll say, well, if you keep, Spirit will say, you know, if you keep going down that route, route it's, it's just things are going to keep going downhill for you. It's your choice. What people have got to realise is Spirit don't do everything for us. You know, they can guide and they can help 
guide us to positive outcomes, but it's, it's us that do us the work. Thank you, Ruth. You take care. Give my love to all in Canada. All right. That's early in the morning where you are. I think I may have got the time zone wrong. I will carry on writing down names of people who are going to be in this circle. I think it's clear. Circle will probably be a Monday night. I've got the other lady's name. That's good, isn't it? Right, I've got five people for the circle now. Um, Bianca, Nina, Dinky Claire, Hazel and Tracy. All right. I'll let the other ladies who, who know who are not on here. Yeah, that's right. But it, it's our free will that allows them to be in the way. We can move them out of the way if we want. Lisa. Yeah, 100%. All right, Derek, 100%. This is why I work, you know what I mean? I've never become rich or well off through working with spirit. You've been a long time servant of the spirit like myself. And, um, you know, this is why I work. So, you know, I will never become rich from serving spirit. All I, all I ask is just payment for my time. Or like with the circle for private readings, um, or just to help with the cost of the Zoom. But that isn't going to um, mean that I'm driving around in a Bentley or anything like that. But yes, Derek, Derek is very right. Um, what you gain is spiritual awareness and knowledge. And it is, as, as Derek said, it's superb and enlightening and trusting. Good morning, Martin. Lovely to see you here. Lovely you're joining us today. I'm going to have more slurp of coffee. I've often spoken long and hard about the spiritual industry. I don't like it. People are seeing it as a career path rather than a service. You know, a loving service to others through our connection to spirit. You know what I mean? Yeah, I've written two books, but that is, as Martin said last week, to spread knowledge. You know, to help awaken minds. You know, obviously, you know, I'm not a pull. I'm not a Pulitzer Prize um, winner. Um, so I will be going to work tomorrow morning. Bank holiday. There you go. All right. I think when sometimes get people get in the way, Lee, you know, that's all part of the test. That's all part of the learning, isn't it? Yeah, I agree, Nina. It is a balance. Yeah, I mean, by anchor, it, a lot of people are seeing it as a career path and they've set up in business. You know, it's fine, that's their journey and all the rest of it. But um, the spirit do understand that we, 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 we've got rent or mortgages to pay. We need to eat and stuff like that. We need to pay bills. So, yeah, they, they don't mind us sort of like charging a reasonable price for a private sitting or whatever. Or even a circle. You know what I mean? I've never charged for a circle, but I just think that now, as I'm paying for the Zoom, you know, the, the sitters could contribute towards that cost. Um, and I agree with uh, <laughs> Nina. Is when you've actually, when you actually 
give a message or a healing that uplifts, that is the reward. You know what I mean? I just, sometimes I just feel so blessed, you know, by what spirit channel through me, you know, and the upliftment that it gives. You know, it's it's like, and having humility as well, it's like being hum being humble with your face down on the ground, but also twirling round a mountain like Julie Andrews, you know what I mean? It's that feeling, you know, but yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm still, as long as I've been doing it, I'm learning about balance now. I've had to sort of like really balance my life out, you know. Because with the, the, the last job and doing the services and doing the lives, I was having no time for myself or with my wife, so. Oh yeah, Laura's going to be in it, so it's going to be six, six people that are going to be in the circle. Thanks for saying that, Laura. I forgot that I was, I was inviting you to the circle. All right. Oh, it's the lovely Joanna Pierce, all the way from Shirley Spiritualist. How are you, Joanna? Missed you at the open circle the other week. I enjoyed that. I just come to a point where I just needed to sit with like-minded others, so I went down to the open circle with um, Shirley Spiritualist. Ended up demonstrating, um, ended up, no, you're not like a bad smell. I assume, I assume you showered this morning, Laura. Okay. I just get carried away. You, it's my 60 something for, for forgetfulness. Yes, Jan, balance is a very hard thing to achieve. All right. But I, I think what I go by is, Working out what's negative in my life, what's causing me harm, and I'll get rid of that. Um, but yeah, spirit don't mind you charging for a, a private reading or you know stuff like that. But I don't think healing should be charged for. I also think that when we channel spirit in whichever way we do, it's an act of love to spirit. It's also an act of love to the person receiving whatever's being channeled. You know, um, and to be, and we have to create the conditions for spirit to work in. If we're just thinking about the money, that's going to create a, a block, isn't it? We're just thinking of having our name up in lights and, you know, thinking about what we can earn from it. And that creates a real block to spirit. You know what I mean? We have to, you know, create that unconditional love within us and that humility within us. No, I'll never charge for healing. What what I have been doing, Jan, is I've been doing um, like healing clinics where people come along, but they donate to charity. I don't get any of the money. I don't want it. Not for healing. I just cannot take money off people that are suffering. Yeah, you know, whichever way they're suffering in mind, body, or in spirit, I cannot take money for it. Okay, and. Um, I always ask for a free will donation to whatever charity I'm raising money for at the moment. It's the MS Society. Okay. So, I haven't done a healing clinic for a while, so I think I'll do another one. But it, it is a free will do donation to the MS Society. You know. Yeah, I'll go along with that, Martin, as well. Yeah, we, you know, we, we, we can receive negative energy, but we can also give it off. I do, I do a little thing, you know, first thing, is that I just thank God for the day. I thank, you know, God, angels, guides, loved ones for their guidance and for the love around me. 
and I ask for healing for the world. That sets me up for the day. You know what I mean? And if if I've got a particularly trying day, I, I ask to help me them to focus on what I need to do. You know, it's there. We all have this beautiful connection to the Creator, to angels, to spirit. All right, well, I'm going to create one. I'm going to create another understanding mediumship workshop, but I'm also going to create another trance healing clinic. All right. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask, as like with the, you, the last one, or the last two or three that I've done, is I'm going to ask for a donation to the MS Society. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah, I could do that, Teresa. All right. No, I, I, I just haven't got the time and space to do a home tra trance circle, um, Jan. And I'll never teach it online because it's dangerous. Right, the, the comments are coming thick and fast. Yeah, Teresa, just give me a shout and um, I'll come along to your, your development circle and give some, give some teaching. All right. And let me know what you'd like to be taught and I'll try and teach it. Okay. Well, I'll just teach you what I do. All right. And um, yeah, if that's okay with you, um, Teresa. Yeah, we all work in different ways because we all have an individual connection. You know, and spirit try to, you know, connect with us in the best way possible and we've got to connect with them in the best way possible. And that will be different with each individual. Hello, good morning, young Wayne. How are you? It's just ticked over to afternoon. I hope you're well, Wayne. I agree with that 100% Pete uh, Martin so yeah please um, please read Martin's last comment because I agree with that 100% yeah yeah Teresa we'll just do some channeling energies and working with guides and all that okay we'll do spiritual protection as well um, we will do opening and closing the spirit. Real basic stuff. But what I'll do is I'll deliver my workshop to your circle. All right? How does that sound, Teresa? Right. Okay. Wayne, what, what does... How does my spiritual mediumship become stronger? In what way? After tra after trance, definitely. My mediumship becomes stronger. Um, I also find, you know, having that loving connection with spirit makes my mediumship stronger. See, we're on a long line of development, Wayne. Um, like I keep saying to people, I, I've been a demonstrating mediumship for 39 years and I'm still learning how to do it. Spirit will bring in new things. They will try new things with us. Yeah, I think we could chat in a bit, Danny. All right, when I finish this. All 
I'll need to sort of like meditate a little bit and open up the spirit, okay? I charge £30 for a reading, um, Danny. Right, what's Wayne just said? Right, okay. Wayne's asked a good question. I'm just thinking about your answer. Um, an answer for you, Wayne. Right, what I would say to you is, Wayne, take small steps on the pathway because it is very much a developmental process as you go along with um, spirit. So please keep the connection with your spirit guides. Okay, and just talk find time to sit in the peace and the energy with them and allow them to come um, close to you and build that connection but what I would say is just with your you know work on being a clear vessel for spirit in other words you know fill yourself with that unconditional love and that power and that will help you but realize it's small steps we don't know all the answers Wayne we just have to walk that path and take the full steps towards it. It will be revealed to you. Okay? I hope that answers your question. Okay? How do you open up the spirit? Well, first what I do is... That can change, actually. But what I do is um, I sit down quietly. I come into the peace of the moment. I get myself right into the moment that beautiful peaceful energy that's naturally all around us i ask um angels and guides and loved ones for protection and then with the power of my mind and imagination i, I build the protection around me which I, is a blue and green wall all the way around me I ask for protection for myself and my wife um and outside of that wall there are four mirrors which represent the other people um, more people in the circle that are circled like I sat in and a beam of light going around outside their mirrors so it reflects out light okay and then I, I, I visualise myself standing at the top of 10 steps and down the bottom of the steps is a tiny little altar with a candle a lit candle on it and um I walk down them steps. I ask angels and guides to come close to me. I ask them to give any any advice, guidance that they wish to give. I also ask them to help loved ones through with their messages. Because remember, spirit are on their varying degrees of understanding as well. Some may not have, have communicated through a medium as well. So I'll get my guides to help them through. And then I'll get right down to that candle, which is my place of total unconditional love. Okay? And I'll blend with that. And I ask loved ones to come in. I ask them to step, step into my aura so that I can feel them, sense them, describe them, give me their name. Trusted spirit is very powerful, Wayne. You should do that at all times. Remember, when we do platform, it, it, it can be scary because we don't know what we're going to say beforehand. All right? But you've got to trust. All right? Yeah, it can come very, very fast, but you, you've got to learn to slow it down. It, it's a small steps path. It really is. Okay? Um, then, I, you know, I ask loved ones to come step as deep into my aura as I can so that I can... Um, Feel them, sense them, describe them, give me their name to give me evidential um, facts from their their from their physical lives, so that we can prove their um, survival after death to the person receiving the message. But what's most important is I ask them to give their loving message to their loved ones, because spirit do come with a message. They do want to help their loved ones on earth, so. You know, to me, that's more important than proving their survival. 
if that makes sense, but that's just me. All right. Danny, I'm being told by my spirit guides that I shouldn't be doing a reading because I'm de being de demonstrating tonight and I'll need my energy for that. But if you would like to book a reading with me, I can put you in in the week. All right. If that's okay, Danny. And Wayne, if that answers your question, please let me know. That's what I do. But respect, trust and love with spirit is, is the most, most important. Thank you, trees. I agree hundred percent. Yeah, your guides will change. Your guides will come to you in accordance with the need. All right. Be prepared to work with different guides. Be prepared to work with other people's guides as well. All right. There's nothing to say that my guide won't work with you one day. All right. They're not chained to us. Yeah, um, as you reach higher levels of understanding, your guides will change. We all get two guides that stay with us always, and that's what's known as our doorkeepers. Some people call them gatekeepers, okay? And, um, yeah, um, they make sure we get our ups and downs in lives, everything like that. But be prepared, Wayne, to attune to guides and higher guides i was telling the, gu the girls yesterday in the workshop that i had to develop for three years to be able to work with my egyptian guide so that i could rise high enough vibrationally for him to be able to connect with me and we have to be prepared to do that a lot of people leave circle thinking that they're the oracle and that they've finished but development is always onwards going you know The guides will change. And when you give your messages out, be prepared to communicate with other people's guides as well. Um, Martin's just raised a good point. It's not. It's not it's not our job to understand. As long as the person receiving the, the message understands, that's what, what's important. Yeah. We're just the channels. We're just the vessels. It's, it's not up to us to know anybody else's business. As, as long, Remember, when, when you're working pra um, publicly, like on a platform, or doing live readings or stuff like that, Spirit are wrapping the message up, so and you're wrapping the message up, especially if it's something that's sort of obviously personal, so that the person can understand, but nobody else can. Yeah, as I've said before, Martin, the teacher has to become the pupil as well. So I'm, whilst I'm teaching, I'm also learning. Also in my everyday life, I'm learning as well. Yeah, my guides will come to me and teach me what they need me to know. I feel drawn to say to you, Wayne, read, read the Desiderata. Well, right, that's one of the first things I've read in Manor Park Christian Spiritualist Church, which is now known as Slough Spiritualist Church. Okay. But please read the Desiderata. Go placidly. And that's, that's the path of spirit. Go placidly. Be selfless. The greatest teaching I think, or one of the greatest teachings I've ever received from spirit, is to be selfless in, in service. I'm going to put it in the comments now. Um, Wayne, I 
I just feel drawn to say that to you. Um, if you go on Google Images and type type in Desiderata, it will come up. All right. I've done addresses on the Desiderata. I, I should imagine Martin and Derek have as well at some point. Okay. I just feel I want to say to you, Wayne, go placidly amidst the toil and haste. I think that Desiree is such a good thing for those of us that are developing spiritually, you know. All right. Danny, if you would like to inbox me um, so we can arrange your reading. That'd be great. Alright. But for now. Yeah. No thanks Wayne. You're always welcome on these lives. I enjoy chatting with you. And Martin and Derek and everybody else for that matter. But yeah. Okay. I will be posting this live on, uh, this live on um, YouTube. Because I feel that some good teaching comes out. You know, just read discussions or some good things that come out. You know, um, me and Patrick Monahan have been doing like a Zoom healing for for um, to raise money for the MS Society. We're doing another one of them soon. I forget which day it is, but we're doing one of them, of course. Yeah, it's an exchange of energy, Wayne. All right, no, that's lovely. Thank you. All right, I'll have a look at my messages, Danny, and we'll sort it out. Okay, sorry I can't do it today, but my guides have told me not to because I'm demonstrating tonight and I need to conserve my energy. But we will do it in the week. Okay. I'll just have a quick look in my diary. I'm doing a, a reading Tuesday night, so I might be able to fit you in Tuesday night. That's right. Yeah, we do realise we know so little. But um, what what my guides have said to us, they are thankful that we, we, we that we channel whatever they channel through us. All right, then please do. Um, please do, Wayne. I look forward to getting a reading from you. Actually, yeah. Right, I must go now. All right, but it's been lovely speaking to you all we do achieve some good things like like one of the lives it, it led to me and patrick monoran doing um some lot some healing on zoom um for four people and raising money for um the ms society you know and stuff like that okay it's just Danny, it's just that my guides have told me not to because I need to conserve my energy for tonight. Okay, that's another thing. Um, yeah, we need to conserve our energies. All right. Yeah, we can't be working flat out all the time. Okay. Right, thank you all. What I'll say is God bless you all and thank you. God bless you. Have a lovely Sunday all, take care.